Hey everybody, Adam from MA Performance. Today we're here to discuss the importance of aftermarket suspension upgrades and equally important, what you get for your money as you work through those options. I'm here to answer questions such as, why would you want certain setups? What do you get for your money? And do you need to spend more for you? Stick around to find out. Let's start with how we're using the car. If you're someone who's into drifting, tracking the car, or you just wanna lower it, there's gonna be different solutions for you. Some might make more sense than others, and you don't always have to buy what everyone's telling you to buy just because it's the current thing. Some solutions might be a great way for you to get exactly what you're getting out of the car, and specifically to your environment, things like weather, road conditions, the angle of your driveway, all of which are gonna be a factor as to what is gonna make the most sense for your money. Let's start off with the most cost-effective option. First, we have springs. Many of us have them, have used them, have bought them before. What is the most common reason why we would use them? Well, the first of which is that they give you the benefit of being lower cost, they lower the vehicle for a better center of gravity, they can alter spring rates to more for handling balance you prefer. Uh, they also can be rather simple to install. There's no ride height adjustment that you have to worry about. You just get to enjoy the lowered ride height, the better handling characteristics, better ride quality, and often are all that you really need. Some drawbacks of springs that you might want to move into a more expensive option or an entry level coilover that you wouldn't get with a typical spring is now we're starting to give yourself some more adjustment and variability for your uses. So for example, these are really convenient. You can install them, you get a certain ride height, you're happy with it, it looks good, and you don't need to worry about setting it up, adjusting it, it's just ready to go. Now there are damper upgrades that you can get for the springs that will allow you to do added performance and adjustment over time uh, to dial in the handling that you want. Yet again though, we don't have things that coilovers will have where we have adjustable body height, preload on the springs to help us balance the car even further. We won't also have things like variable damping as default and you get additional features such as alignment adjustment, such as top hats and camera plates. And then we also have further adjustment where this would mount in this specific application. This gives us a little bit more room to play with the car in both ride height, damping, and if you wanna change the setup for the different purposes that you're using your car, this is a really highly flexible option. Now, coilovers, as you get into them from a spring and damper setup, there are gonna be many different kinds. I generally recommend get the one that makes the most sense. For springs and dampers, the same thing. That sounds simple, but what I really mean is springs don't always go for the lowest one that you can possibly find. Try some out, see what you think. Your friends might have them. There's gonna be a couple that are more comfortable than others. Now, I'd show you more on the damper side. Thankfully, Tan, who makes a great damper option for the Evo 10, is green, which means on a green screen, I can't show it to you. There are many great options, and we do test them all the time, and we really, really like them. It's simple, quick to install, OEM fitment, and not much to think about after you've done it. It does allow you to adjust damping, but you're not gonna have all those geometry and overall height adjustments that you're normally gonna get with a little bit more money. So coilovers can range a wide range of prices. The more mid-range of coilovers or entry level, depending on whom you ask, let's say a little over $1,000, we find ourselves with options like this Evolved Autosport coilover, which gives you all those full features, but is much more comfortable and street-oriented than, say, more expensive options. And this is for someone who wants that adjustability and the options to do what they want with their suspension and tune it a little bit more finitely, uh, but you're not gonna need to worry about compromising on ride quality. You don't have to worry about getting into a complex setup that needs to be constantly tailored to how you're using the vehicle. So very good general purpose item. Uh, you don't need to necessarily go beyond this for most people, um, but it is a really, really good go-to setup. Again, some people saving money, all that you really wanna do is lower the car and get a little bit better handling feel. You're not worried about setting up the suspension more. Springs make sense, spring and dampers as well. Now many of you will say, what about those higher end options? I always hear about them. Things like Olin's Road and Track Coilovers, KW Variant 3s, so those very high end options. And we start and we, it goes up much higher than that. So these are gonna be tailored generally around a very specific purpose. Now, ironically, I'm talking about Olin's Road and Track Coilovers specifically here, designed for both road use and track use. But what I can tell you is when you get a more expensive uh, suspension option such as this, you're looking at a very uh, holistic and encompassing uh, set of suspension that's designed for a more complicated and advanced purpose. What I mean by that is there are a lot of things to take advantage of with this suspension that you're gonna be paying for that are totally worth it. 
But honestly, if you're just driving to work every day and you're trying to dodge potholes all day long, eh, this might be make more sense. Now, are you going to a road course event every weekend and you're trying to compete a little bit, you're trying to go faster and faster and faster, and this isn't your everyday driver, this makes a lot of sense. Reasons for that being, they're starting to take into account a lot of things like piston size. They can go into a little bit more complex and lighter weight mountings. The spring rates are gonna be a little bit more dialed for competitive use usually. They have a very wide range of damping adjustments, all the way from so stiff that I need dental work, all the way to so soft I could fall asleep. That's the adjustability that higher end Clover can get you, along with some of the special features that they're known for. So with so many nuances and added features, such as coatings and external reservoirs, you have various different types of coilovers that are designed for different purposes and uses, but give you all that generic flexibility that you're looking for for the dollar. And you also have options like this, where it accomplishes everything you need, but you don't need to spend that much. A lot of questions may arise from, how does each one benefit me? Well, Ultimately, hopefully this video helps narrow that down a little bit and give you an idea as to just because you're driving a lot on a track doesn't mean that you need to spend all this money, but at the same time, uh, just because you're just going to the car meet doesn't mean you wouldn't appreciate some of the added features and benefits that spending a little bit more could get you. Overthinking suspension is something I've done a lot of. Over the years, I've owned every single one of these setups, and to this day, I honestly have a setup on different vehicles of each type. I've got a track car, I've also got a car I daily drive, and honestly, the fiance's car I lower once in a while, don't tell her. So the idea being, there's not a single solution that works best for everyone. There are gonna be times where it makes sense for you to get more features out of a specific option. MA Performance is here to help with that. So give us a call, an email, a DM, whatever the case may be. Come see us at events. We'd be happy to walk you through each of the options that we have available and why they make the most sense for you. And most importantly, we can get you what you need without spending too much or too little. Thank you all for watching. We're gonna to continue to do more content like this. Keep the series going. If there's more that you want us to cover, let us know. We'd love to do it. Thanks.